Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we have another very interesting question from radical equations. It is the square root of 2x plus 3 over x plus 1 whole cube plus the square root of 3x plus 2 over x plus 1 whole cube equal to 9. And we are going to calculate real solutions. So let's get started. I will write x cannot be negative 1, denominator cannot be 0. Now I can write our equation as 2 times x plus 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 whole cube plus the square root of 3 times x plus 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 whole cube. RHS will be 9. Further, I can write it would be 2 plus 1 over x plus 1 whole cube plus a square root of 3 minus 1 over x plus 1 whole cube. RHS is 9. Now I will consider 1 over x plus 1 equal to a. So I can write our equation as 2 plus a whole cube plus square root 3 minus a whole cube equal to 9. Let me write here square root 2 plus a whole cube plus square root 3 minus a whole cube equal to 9. Now I will assume 2 plus a equal to m. 3 minus a equal to n. For real solutions, m should be greater than 0, n should be also positive. Now if I will add these two equations, then plus a minus a will be over. So m plus n will be 5. Let us call equation 1. Now after substitution, I will write this equation as square root m cube plus square root n cube equal to 9. Now I will write our equation 1 m plus n equal to 5. Now I will consider squaring of first equation. Whole square. So I can write here m cube plus n cube plus 2 square root m cube n cube equal to 81. Now m cube plus n cube is required. So let's consider cubing here. So I will be writing m cube plus n cube plus 3mn in bracket m plus n which is 5 and right hand side is 5 cube so 125. So m cube plus n cube value will be 125 minus 15mn. Let us apply this value here. So I can write our equation will become 125 minus mn plus 2 times square root m cube n cube equal to 81. Let me write here. 125 minus 15 mn plus 2 times square root m cube n cube equal to 81. Now I will consider a square root mn equal to t. t must be greater than 0 as m and n both values are positive. So our equation will become 125 
minus 15 mn so i can write minus 15 t square plus 2 times t cube equal to 81 or i can write 2t cube minus 15t square plus 44 equal to 0 now this is one cubic equation i will use method of factorization so i can split minus 15t square as minus 4t square minus 11t square plus 44 equal to 0 now 2t square is common from first two terms so in bracket t minus 2 will be there here minus 11 if i will take common then i will write in the bracket t square minus 4 now a square minus b square formula we can apply so i can write 2t square t minus 2 as it is minus 11 times t plus 2 t minus 2 equal to 0 now i will take t minus 2 overall common so in bracket 2t square will be there minus 11 t minus 22 equal to 0 so we can write two equations from here let me write here either t minus 2 will be 0 or 2t square minus 11 t minus 22 equal to 0 so from first equation i can write t is equal to 2 and t was our substitution root mn now this quadratic equation so i will write t equal to if i can write using quadratic formula so i will be getting 11 plus minus 3 square root 33 over 4 this value we will have now condition on t is t should be positive so i can reject the minus value as 11 is less than 3 root 33 so i can write here 11 plus 3 root 33 will be accepted one over 4 and from here t equal to 2 now i will write the value of t it was root mn equal to 2 and root mn equal to 11 plus 3 square root 33 over 4 so the value of mn will be 4 here and from second equation i will be writing mn value will be A squaring of this it will give us 199.2 approximate value approximate value now i can frame two system of equations so if i will write here then m plus n our equation one it was five with mn equal to four first system and second system m plus n equal to five with mn equal to 199.2 approximate value let me solve our second system first so i can think about one quadratic equation whose roots are m and n then this is sum of roots this is product of roots let me write equation in m itself so m square minus sum of roots which is 5 times m plus product of roots 199.2 equal to 0 if i will check only the discriminant then it would be b square so 25 minus 4 times 199.2 so this value will come out negative so i can write this will give us complex solutions so i can reject this solution rejected now come to this system again i will write quadratic in m 
m square minus sum of roots. So 5 times m plus product of roots equal to 0. Now I can factor. I can write m minus 1 times m minus 4 equal to 0. So conclusion from here would be m equal to 1 and 4. Now m was our substitution if you remember. Let me write here. m is equal to 1 and 4. m was our substitution a plus 2. So I will write 1 and 4. Take away 2 from both sides. So a will be equal to 1 minus 2 minus 1. 4 minus 2, 2. Now a was again our substitution. It was 1 over x plus 1. So I can write equal to minus 1, comma 2. Now consider reciprocal both sides. So x plus 1 will be 1 over minus 1. It will be minus 1. 1 over 2, so half. Take away 1 from both sides. We will get our real solutions. So minus 1, minus 1, minus 2. And half minus 1, minus half. So our real solutions are negative 2 and negative 1 over 2. Let us cross examine. So I will write here check. Let me consider x is equal to negative 2. So I will begin with LHS. So I will write a square root of 2x plus 3. So I will be writing here minus 4 plus 3. So numerator will be minus 1 over minus 2 plus 1 in the denominator which will be minus 1 whole cube plus the square root of 3x plus 2. So minus 6 plus 2 minus 4 over minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 whole cube. So I can write here 1 cube, these two will be over, so square root of 1 plus square root of 4 cube. So I can write square root 1 plus square root 64. This value is 1, this would be 8, so value will be 9 which is our RHS. Hence verified. Now the turn of second solution. x is equal to negative half. So LHS, so we will be writing a square root of, now in place of 2x, we can write negative 1. So I will be writing 3 minus 1, so 2 over 1 minus half, so half, whole cube plus a square root of 3x, so minus 3 by 2 plus 2, so it will be half over 1 minus half, so half, whole cube. Now here half and half will be over. We will write 1 and this 2 will land to the numerator. So I can write the square root 4 cube plus the square root 1 cube. So this will be root 64 plus 1, 8 plus 1, 9 and it is our RHS. Hence both solutions are verified x is equal to minus 2 and minus 1 by 2. So this is our final answer. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.